salvage campaign has obviously been doing well in St Pancras. Basra, at the head of the Persian Gulf, is only one station on one route by which supplies are reaching the Soviet. But it's an important station, and it's also a stopping place on the Imperial Air Route from India to the Middle East. Anyway, the port is humming with activity as supplies of all kinds arrive in Allied ships. Supplies to aid Russia in the hard fight against the German invaders. It's an immense task, and here the labor is carried on at one of the hottest places on the face of the globe. But the job's being done, and as we've been told officially, the Soviet is receiving all that has been promised. From Iraq, the railway runs through Persia on a long but direct route to Russian territory. Train load after train load is made ready for the journey north. These, by the way, are the first newsreel pictures illustrating this aspect of the transport of British and American goods to our allies. Difficult country, but British engineering skill and sound staff work are there to see that Britain delivers the goods intact, on time. the land which German tourists explored, hoping to secure it for Hitler, the means of waging war against Hitler are now being transported in increasing quantity. British workers at home are going all out to help Russia. In Persia, British personnel sees that that help arrives punctually. A lot of work, maintaining the full efficiency of the line all the way from the Gulf to the Caspian, maintaining and improving, ensuring a smooth and continuous flow of supplies, supplementing and rounding off the work of the seamen who sail the ships to Basra. And it isn't only goods that come ashore here. Strong reinforcements from India, too, join their brothers in the great fight already made by Indian soldiers. Particularly well fitted for campaigning in the Middle East, they enjoy a magnificent tradition of valor. And where these troops come from, there are thousands more, waiting and eager. There were scenes of...